I just built a long form horror story AI video generator, 100% local and 100% free. And this system writes, visualize and produce a full three minute horror story automatically or on autopilot. Let me show you how it works. First, it writes a full length horror story with the Llama 4 model in about 400 words. Next, the Kokoro voice generator turns that text into a cinematic voiceover right on my local fast API server. Then we'll pull out the most intense scene from the story and convert it into a horror image prompt. And that image prompt goes to Flux AI free model and it gives us a creepy scene that feels quite scary. We also grab background music straight from copyright free user video and mix it with a voice over using FFmpeg. And finally, it combines everything together into one fully produced horror AI video like this. The old mansion had been abandoned for decades, its grandeur and beauty slowly being consumed by the passing of time. As I stepped inside, a chill... So if you are into AI storytelling, long-form horror content, or just want a no-cost, zero-dependency pipeline to build spooky faces video, this is it. All local, all automated, and all yours to clone. And the best part is all drag and drop inside NN, no code needed. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Andy, and I drop practical NN workflows like these every single week. If you are building with AI and automation, you're in the right place. And I've uploaded this exact workflow to our community, where we provide all the templates we have made. We provide tech support and we'll make sure to solve 100% of tech issues. You can grab the template and just import it easily and start producing AI content. So let's dive into how this zero cost horror video machine works under the hood. And I'll show you how to make it yours in under 50 minutes. So let's dive in. All right, so let's try to run this demo first. We are going to use Llama 4 to generate this horror video transcript. Then we are going to use this free Kokoro model to generate the voiceover. And now we are generating the image prompt with the Llama 4 as well. And now we are going to use Flux, the free model to generate the AI horror story image. We download the image and then download the BGM, the copyright free YouTube video. And we are going to create the video with FFmpeg. All right, so let's now take a look at our demo now. We can click this fill button. The old mansion had been abandoned for decades, its grandeur and beauty slowly being consumed by the passing of time. As I stepped inside, a chill ran down my spine. Okay, so this is the horror story that we made with AI. Okay, so let's dive into this and then we'll share with you how we can build this one by one. All right, so before we dive into our NN tutorial, we need to set a few things up first. We are going to use ngrok to make sure that your local NN is accessible from the internet. So we we'll go to this website. After you register, under the universal gateway domains, create a new domain, and then click this and start tunnel. Copy this, and then go to your terminal. You can run it by command space, search for terminal, and then run it. And you can just paste this command and execute. Then you will get this URL. It's very important. You can copy and paste it somewhere first. Then you can click, click Control C to quit. Then after you install this, we are going to install Docker. You can go to this website. And if you are Mac, just install it for Mac. If you have PC, just install it for PC. Then we are going to copy this. We are going to create a network to bridge um, two Docker containers, which is one for NN, one for Kokoro, which is an AI voice. Uh, model then we are going to terminal paste it and execute this we have already um, built this already so you can see this error but on your side you will be able to create a new network for that then we are going to copy this command as for setting up the Kokoro server associated with this network that we created then we will just copy and paste it here and run it again you see this error message because we have already created this or, uh, for us then we are going to set up the NN server now, and we are going to install this 1.8 version. And please be aware of this webhook URL. We have already copied the URL just now for ngrok. We will just replace it and paste it here. Okay, after you change this URL, and then just copy, and then paste it and execute. Then you will have your ngrok ready. 
your NM ready and Kokoro, the AI audio model, the test to speech model ready. Then we are going to install FFmpeg in your Docker. It's for rendering the videos without any API, so it's free. First of all, we will go to Docker, container, this is your NAN container and copy this container ID and paste it somewhere first. Then we have this command, but please replace your container ID to remove this and paste it here. So for example, you have this, then you will just copy this, then go to terminal and paste it and execute this. All right. And we are going to install YTDLP for downloading the YouTube video because we need to have some copyright free music video as our background music for this horror story. Then we are going to add, again, paste your container ID here, and then just copy this and paste it here and execute. So that's it. That's it for your setup. You have FFmpeg ready, YTTLP ready. So let's dive into the NNN workflow now. So let's get started. For the first note, it is the schedule trigger. Basically, it's going to trigger the whole workflow every single hour. Of course, you can change into other interval as well. All right, for this second prompt, we can search for basic LLM chain. And for beginners, we can see on the left-hand side, it is our input. On the right-hand side, it is our output. And in the middle part, it is where we are going to configure this node. For example, for the source for prompt, we are going to use define below. For the prompt user message, we are going to put create a three-minute horror story. Basically, this is our instruction for this node to execute. Then chat message, we have the system prompt. We are going to put the message here when we click expression, enlarge this. You are a horror story writing AI. Your task is to write a complete horror story transcript based on a requested duration in minutes. The transcript should match the time by assuming an average speaking speed of 130 words per minute. And these are the rules. For example, do not include a title, word count, or any formatting, etc. All right, and this is the output. Only the story transcript, no quotes, labels, or explanations. Then we can click test step. Then you will see this error, error in sub note open router chat model. Why? Because we haven't set this model properly yet. Let me show you. So in fact, when we click this model, you can see there are so many different language models that we can input. But now we just want to use open router because you can think of open router as an aggregator for different uh, chat model. And you can see we are using MetaLama, Llama 4, and, and there are so many other models that you can use. But first of all, we need to set up the credentials to connect with. We can click this pen icon. Then we can go to openrouter.ai slash settings slash keys. Then we can go to API keys here, create key, and then copy your key and paste it here. Then everything is ready. We can go back and we can actually click test step again. Great, we can see this is our output. This is a transcript for the three minute horror story. Then we are going to add another note this is called HTTP request node. It's for making an HTTP request and returns the response data. So for this one, we are going to use the Kokoro audio to create a voice. And we are going to use post method for this node. You don't need to set authentication for this because we are going to use this Kokoro model in our local host. You don't need to set any authentication for this Kokoro audio solution because we have already installed in your local. Then we need to enable send body here. We put JSON as the body content type using JSON under specified body. For JSON, when we click expression and launch this, you will see this is the model, input, voice, response format, and other uh, parameters as well. For the voice, we put AF heart, and actually they have so many other voice. You can actually test it here. All right, after you have tested your preferred voice, you can actually refer to the list and then copy your preferred voice and paste it here. For the input, which is the transcript, we can just drag and drop here. Remember, don't forget this quotation mark. All right. Then we are have we are having the MP3 for response format and also the down format. This is speed. You can try to increase it or try to uh, have a lower value for uh, slower speed. And for stream, we put true, return, download link, true, normalize true, unit normalization false, URL normalization true, email normalization true. And then for the rest, we are going to put true as well. Then we click test step. When you see this error, don't worry. It's probably because you've got to turn on this Kokoro server here. We can go to Docker, container, and then just turn this on by clicking this. When you follow the setup 
tutorial at the beginning, you will be able to process this. Please pay attention to the tutorial setup at the beginning. But of course, if you got your Kokoro surface setup already here, please remember to turn this on. Then now we can click test step. All right, so it's ready. We can click this fill button to listen to the audio. The old mansion loomed before me, its turrets reaching towards the sky like skeletal fingers. I stepped out of the car and onto the crumbling driveway, the sound of gravel crunching beneath my feet echoing through the stillness. The air was heavy with the scent of damp earth and decay. That's great. And of course, if you would like to prefer to use another voice for this horror story, you can again choose from um, the Kokoro website. All right, so we can go to the next note. And now we are going to write the voice into disk. All right, for this next note, we are going to search for disk. It's for read or write files from disk. This time we're going to write this audio file, the voice over into your disk. So we're going to choose write file to disk as the operation. We put this file path horror voice.mp3 as a file path as name. And for the input binary field, we put data, which is referring to this. We can click test step. Then for the next note, we are going to add another basic LM chain. This time we're going to use open router again, and we're choosing Llama 4 model. This for generating the image prompt, because we are going to generate this AI image. And then we are going to put define below under um, source for prompt. For the prompt, we are going to just drag and drop this. For the system prompt, we can click expression and launch this. You are an AI that turns horror story transcripts into a single cinematic image prompt suitable for use with an AI image generator like Fox. And these are the instructions, and this is the example output. All right, then we can click test step. This is the prompt for the AI image model. And we are going to use HTTP request note for the, for the AI image generations. We are going to use post method this is the URL because we are going to use together AI API this time. We can put API.togetherXYC v1 image generation. For the credentials, we are going to choose generic credential type, head auth, and then we can click this pen icon, rename it into together AI, and then put authorization under name. Then go to API.togetherXYC, scroll down after you register, copy this API key. But before you paste it to your credentials here, remember you need to add bearer space. Then add your API key together and paste it here. Again, you need to add bearer space. After you set up this credential, then you scroll down, enable send body, using JSON as a body can type, using JSON here, and then expression and launch this. This is the model we use. And this time we're going to use the free Fox model. For this model, please be aware of that there will be a rate limit, which is around 10 or less images per minute. Then we are going to use four as a step, number of steps for this um, inference steps. And, and it is referring to number of image, we just put one. And for height and width, we'll put this dimension. And for this guidance, we put 3.5. Output format, push, we put JPEG. For the prompt, we just drag and drop here. Remember to add the quotation. Then click test step. Great, then we go to next note. Another HTTP request note to download the image this time. We use get method. For the URL, we can just go to this part, drag and drop here. None as the authentication. Test step. As for downloading the image, then we can click this fill button to see this AI image for this horror story. Then we are going to add another write and read file from disk. This time we're going to write file to disk as well as for writing this image file and we'll put data under input binary field. Test that. Next, we are going to use this execute command note. All right, um, this is a note provided by local NN. You may not be able to find it now on NN Cloud. It is for downloading your YouTube video for your background music. So please use the copyright free video for that. And you can see this is the YouTube uh, URL. And we're going to use YTDLP for this purpose. And we are going to download the video in uh, and turn it into this mp3 format and the file path will be this we click test app to start the download great so we have this bgm ready we will start another execute command note for creating the video all right so let's dive into this and see how we can create a video with ffmpeg first of all we are going to enable this execute once then click expression under this command and launch this. No worries, you don't need to know how to code. You can just copy and paste this. But let me try to explain to you what it means for 
each part of it. First of all, we are going to use FFmpeg to create the video. For this part, it means that we are going to instruct FFmpeg to loop the first input, which is this image as the video source. All right, we're going to use this image as the video source. Then we are going to input this MP3 file for the voiceover and input this MP3 file for the BGM. And then we are going to use this instruction for to apply complex audio filtering. For this part, it is referring to the third input, which is this BGM MP3. And we are going to lower this volume to 5% of this original one. And we will label this as BGM. And for this, it is referring to the second input, which is referring to the voiceover. And then we are going to mix it with the BGM. And we'll specify the number of inputs here. And the duration, we are going to refer to the first one, which is the voiceover. Because usually, for the voiceover, it is shorter than the BGM. And we'll rename this mixed output as the audio output, AOUT. Then, for this part, we are going to select the video stream from the first input which is the image and this we're going to select the mixed audio stream that is labeled as AOUT. For VF, it is referring to video filters. All right, we're going to scale the image to this dimension. But then after scaling, we're going to crop the image into this dimension. All right, for the output setting, we are going to at this shortest to ensure that the output video duration matches the shortest input stream in this case which is this voice over mp3 file so this prevents the video from continuing after the audio has ended then for this part it sets the pixel format to this which is widely compatible with most uh, video player and platforms and this is the name of the output file and this part it is referring to that we are going to automatically overwrite the output file if it already exists without prompting for further confirmation. Then we can click test step. Great, we got it here. Then we are going to the next step. And now this time we are going to add this note again, but this time we are going to read files from disk. And this is the file selector. This is the output.mp4 that we created from the previous note. We can click test step. And now let's play this video. The old mansion loomed before me, its turrets reaching towards the sky like skeletal fingers. I stepped out of the car and onto the crumbling driveway, the sound of gravel crunching beneath my feet, echoing through the stillness. The air was heavy with the scent of- Nice. So basically this is our first simple setup on how you can use Kokoro to create the voiceover. And we are going to use Together AI the free image model to generate the AI image and we're going to use FFmpeg to combine everything together to generate this whole AI horror story for free with zero dollar. So that's it for today. Uh, if you would like to have any questions or any comments, feel free to comment below in your um, in this YouTube video. And if you would like to get this template, feel free to join our community as well. And we provide all other templates over there. We will make sure to solve all your tech problems as well. So thank you very much. I will see you in our next video.